Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this time, we will be talking about So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video tutorial. Before we start, I have here some objects. Please group the following objects for 5 seconds. How many groups are there? Very good. There are two groups. The group of hats and the group of numbers. This group of objects are called sets. Now, let's learn more about sets. First, let's differentiate sets and well-defined sets. Sets are collection of objects, while well-defined sets are collection of objects that share common characteristics. To make it simple, sets are collection of general things, while well-defined sets are collection of specific things. For example, for set, we have set of colors, while for a well-defined set, we have set of primary colors and these are red yellow and blue to write that one we denote a set using a capital letter so you can choose any letters to represent your set for this one i choose capital letter c because of the word colors so c is equal to we use braces to group the elements of a set and to separate the elements we use commas. If a set contains many elements, we often use three dots. These dots are called ellipses. For the second example, we have set of buildings. And for a well-defined set, that would be set of SMO buildings. So we have SMC side, SM Cebu, SM Moa, Mall of Asia, and many more. We also have examples of not well-defined sets. First, we have set of punctual students in your class. Next, we have set of honest people and many more. The sets given are not well defined since people will have different point of views on these punctual students and honest people. Now we have universal set which is denoted with capital letter U. Universal set is a set that contains all objects under consideration. So example, set U contains the set of whole numbers. So the whole numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. So we write that one in this way. Capital U is equal to open brace and write the whole numbers. And then if it's infinite at the end part, after the comma, you put an ellipsis and then close the brace. Second example, we have set U contains the days of the week. And the days of the week are namely Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we write that one in this way. Capital letter U is equal to open brace. Sunday, comma, Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, and so on and so forth, and then close the brace. Now we have subsets, which is denoted by the symbol. Given any two sets A and B, if every element in B is also an element in A, 
then B is a subset of A. So we can write that one in this way. B is a subset of A. Note, every set is a subset of itself. And empty set, which is denoted by the symbols, is also a subset of every set. So, for example, we have R is equal to 1 and 2. So, the possible subset R itself, each element of that set, we have 1, we also have 2, and the empty set. Example number 2. Let's try to identify which sets are subset of set O. Set A are red, blue, yellow. So red, element red is found on set O. Element blue is also found on set O. While element yellow is also found on set O. So set A is a subset of set O. Next, set B are yellow and blue. Element yellow is also found on set O, while blue is also found on set O. So, set B is an element of O. Set C are blue and black. Blue is found on set O, while black is not. So, C is not a subset of O. Set D is orange. Orange is not found in set O. So, set D is not a subset of O. Set E is equal to red. Red is found on set O. So, E is a subset of of O. Set F is equal to empty set. As we all know, empty set is a subset of every set. So, if we have an empty set, automatically a subset of any set. Next, we have null set or empty set which are denoted by these symbols. So a null set or empty set is a set with no element. Again, with no element. So examples are set C is the set of counting numbers between 1 and 2. As we all know, counting numbers start from 1. Next is 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. So between 1 and 2, there's none. There's no counting numbers. So we can write that one this way. Set C is equal to an empty set. Or set C is equal to a null set. Example number 2. Set H is the set of months with 32 days. And as we all know, there's no month that is having 32 days. So it's only until 31 days. So there's none. We can write the answer in this way. Set H is equal to an empty set or set H is equal to a null set. Next, we have cardinality of sets which is denoted by the symbol. So cardinality of sets is the number of elements in a set. So again, number of elements in a set. 
So we will just count the number of elements and that is the cardinality of sets. So examples. Set B is the set of vowels in English alphabet. So the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So solution. Set B is equal to A, E, I, O, U. So the answer will be Cardinality of set B is equal to 5. Again, cardinality of set B is equal to 5 because there are 5 elements. Next, we have the concepts of sets. There are three concepts. First, we have union of sets. Next is the intersection of sets. And lastly, we have difference of two sets. For the concepts of sets, first let's talk about union of set. So, that is denoted by this symbol. Union of set is the set of elements that is the combination of two or more sets. So, for example, if set A are 1, 2, and 3, and set B are 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, then union of set A and B are 1, 2, 3. Next, let's go to B. 1 is already written so let's not write it let's not write that again 2 is already written so let's not write that one again also 4 write that one 5 and then 6 for example number 2 if set a is equal to a b c d e and set b is equal to a E I O U then the union of set A and set B are A B C D E I O U so we get that one by copying all the elements of set A A B C D E and also copying the elements of set B which are which are still not written so we have i o and u next we have intersection of sets which is denoted by the symbol intersection of sets is the set of all elements common to both sets so again common to both sets example if set A are 1, 2, and 3, and set B are 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, then the intersection of A, of set A and B are 1 and 2 only. Why? Because the common element of set A and B are only 1 and 2. Example number 2, we have if set A is equal to A, B, C, D, E and set B are A, E, I, O, U then the intersection of set A and B are only A and E because the common elements are only A and E. Next, we have difference of two sets. So, it is denoted by the symbol, the minus sign. Difference of two sets is the set of elements that are left 
in the first set after subtracting the elements from the second set. So, let's go to the examples. Number one, if set A are 1, 2, and 3, and set B are 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, then the difference between set A and set B is 3 only because 3 is the only element that is left after subtracting set B on set A. So, how did we do that one? Look at set A and set B. If you can find the element from set B to A, then cancel that one out. So, 1 and there's also 1 in set B. 2 in set A is also found in set B. So, cancel that one out. Well, the element 3 is not found on set B. So, 3 will be our answer. While if we do the difference between set B and set A, then the answer will be 4, 5, and 6. Why? So, let's look at set B and deduct the elements from set A. Can we... Can we identify... Uh, let's identify the following elements. So, 1 is also found on set A. So, cancel that one out. 2 is also found on set A. So, cancel that one out. 4, 5, and 6 are not found on set A. So, 4, 5, and 6 will be our answer. So, that's it class. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. To be more updated for my future videos, please subscribe in my channel, push the notification bell, and hit the like button. This is Sir Chan, signing off.